Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of blighted ovum. A 20 years old female patient came with ammonia for 3 months. She had no history of pervaginal bleeding. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the transverse section of the gravid uterus and you can see a well defined gestational sac. There is no internal embryo or yolk sac. To say it as a blighted ovum, we must go for measurement. Here we have taken the gestational sac diameter of this patient. As it is a round gestational sac, we have taken the gestational sac diameter and it was 39 mm, indicating 8 weeks and 6 days of gestation. In normal cases, at 8 weeks 6 days gestation, you will see the cardiac pulsation of the embryo. However, here we can't even see the embryo. So this is a case of blighted ovum or an embryonic pregnancy. In summary, a well-defined 9-week sized gestational sac is noted within the gravid uterus without any internal embryo or yolk sac. Both adnexia appear normal, so the diagnosis is blighted ovum. Now the take-home message. We usually say it as a blighted ovum when the gestational sac diameter or mean sac diameter is more than 25 mm in transabdominal ultrasound without any embryo. If you have a very poor quality machine or if the patient is bulky, then it is better to rescan the patient after a week to avoid overdiagnosis. In these cases, we sometimes wait up to 30 mm before telling it as blighted ovum. So, thank you for watching this video. If you haven't checked, we are adding a few talks in our remember portion of each and every case videos so that it may help you understand the case. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.